welcome back to my channel and another video i just need to get some shoes on okay i've got my shoes on so i've decided to vlog a little bit today um i don't think it's going to turn out to be like a a 50 minute vlog like the last one so don't panic um but yeah so i thought i'd vlog because i need to get stuff done and like i always say i always get it done like more efficiently if i have you with me um watching even though you're not technically here, technically here right now, but I don't want to take ages doing something when I know that I'm filming it. Because one, it means I'm going to have to edit out quite a lot if I mess about too much. And two, um, obviously I would have to edit it because you're not going to want to watch me mess about for ages. So I've got a few things that I need to put away. I was really hoping that today my VIP box would come um, so I could sort that out, but it hasn't. So I can't do that, but I do have things I need to do anyway. Um, I need to finish off a video that I started and never got around to finishing. You're not going to be able to see it. I don't know why I'm trying to show you it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be one of those days. I had yesterday off where I literally did absolutely nothing. Um, and it felt really good yesterday, but then I woke up this morning and I'm like, well, now it kicks me in the bum today, doesn't it? Because now I've got to do everything today that I should have done yesterday as well. So yeah, lots to do today. Um, so first of all, let me show you my desk. It's absolutely disgusting, so just prepare yourself. I get really carried away when I'm filming videos. So like in the middle of filming one video, I'll be thinking about what I'm gonna film next and then I'll forget or whatever. It won't come back to me if I forget. So I just go straight into filming the next one before I put everything away from the first one. So it's an absolute mess. Um, so I'm gonna show you that and I need to tidy it up. Um, I've also got some washing to put out. Um, washing to put in just little bits and bobs really that like we have to do as adults <laughs> um obviously as most of you probably know by now i've got a really dead arm we don't know that that's not what i was going to say but um as most of you might know by now i am isolating um i've got today and tomorrow left and then i am free thank god um to carry on working so i have clients back again but yeah so i'm gonna vlog over today and if the sparkle supplies uk vip box doesn't come today i will vlog over tomorrow as well and this will be like a mixture of two days like the last one was um because i wanted to include me like sorting out that because obviously i put everything in my own pots and stuff like that or foils like i put in my foil folder and things um i also want to film a salon tour today which is why i also need to sort out my room because it's absolutely disgusting so basically it's going to be like come clean with me this one um i don't even just need to like tidy on top of my desk like i need to go in the drawers and actually make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be and stuff like that so i just thought Do you know what i mean i used to have a little chat with you anyway i like these types of videos um i am just gonna put the cleaning of my desk top on a time lapse just because it's vile but it's not going to take me very long like it doesn't need cleaning it just needs like things put in back where they're supposed to be sort of thing so i'm just going to do that really quickly and then i can start chatting to you during different parts of the video I'm rambling now i'm going to get into it i'm going to show you my desk i'm going to show you it while i'm on talking to you actually so you can just so you can see it while i'm chatting look at the state of it there's even stuff on the floor like what the what the how <laughs> drawers are open like there's all sorts of crap going on here honestly i seriously need to tidy it up so i'm just gonna like put you up here somewhere um so you can see everything and then i'm gonna do a quick time lapse because i don't know why but i really find time lapses of people cleaning or tidying like really really effective oh i'm gonna show you this as well my friends came around um uh it's a couple of weeks ago now i think it's been a, a little while two or three weeks maybe and we made our own snakes and ladders board because i saw it on tiktok um, so we made it into a drinking game so we just basically drew this out obviously not very well I actually drew like the lines and stuff like really badly the top ones are definitely wonky and they're definitely bigger than the rest but it's fine um so yeah we did our own and it was actually really really fun I mean we drank way too many shots so definitely if you plan on doing something similar do not put as many shots on yours as I did on mine like we had group shots shots like on their own and the arrows mean that the person next to you has to drink and stuff like that so it was really fun to put together actually and it was like quite an experience just doing it so that was really good and that's an idea for you if you fancy like something different um so anyway i also need to sort out what i'm going to do with these because although i've put my smaller ones these are the decals from nail decals by design although i've put the smaller ones in my usual folder i can't fit those ones in so i might just have to slot these in the back and just hope for the best um, but anyway, yeah, I need to put this all away so you can watch me do that now. OK, 
okay i finished messing about with that so i like i said i need to sort out my drawers as well so these is just this is just stuff that i've got like just lying around like i've got a really bad habit of using stuff and then not putting it back where i actually got it like just leaving it in the drawer where it's supposed to go but not actually sorting it out it's really annoying but i do it all the time so these need to be put away with the stickers so i'm just gonna get my sticker folder as you can see this one is from enchanted decals it's got much larger pouches so it fits in quite a lot These are from Sheen as well, if anyone was wondering. Then I also have the medium size ones that are from Amazon. Which you might also be able to get from Sheen. I haven't looked to be fair, but yeah. So I'm just going to pop those back in the drawer. So I just wanted to show you my, um, my foil folder anyway, because it's actually getting quite full now. And I think it looks really good when it's almost full. So I just thought I'd show you what sort of foils we've got in here now because I haven't actually like done a nail art collection tour for a really long time. I might actually do that um, and actually show you like all of my nail art in depth. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is my folder. I need to go through it anyway because I've got one loose here that I used in a recent video that I haven't actually got around to putting back. So that is why I've got the folder out anyways. I need to put this back in its gap. So anyway, just thought I'd show you what we've got going on here. If any catch your eye and you want me to do a video on them, then let me know. Because it's always good to do videos on things you actually want to see, not just what I'm thinking of. I've not got many spaces left now, which is really sad because obviously... I absolutely love buying foils like I could just buy foils all day every day and I don't really want to get a second I don't want to get a second folder because these folders take up a lot of space and I, I have a whole drawer just for this folder because it's so big which is good because obviously it holds all of my foils like there's so many in here as you've just seen so I can't complain but I don't want two of them because that's two drawers full <laughs> um and to be fair, it is getting harder now to like actually buy foils that I don't already have or don't already have something really similar to. Like, it's pretty difficult. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be buying like a whole new folders worth of foils. So yeah, this is all the space I've got now. I've got this page apart from this one, and this page, and then a few here. All this stuff at the back is all my Christmas stuff. Um, there's not that a great deal because I don't know, people are not really into Christmas foils for some reason. Like, they just like the hand-painted dainty stuff or snowflakes, stuff like that. But anyway, so that's that done as well. But yeah, I just wanted to say that I'm not going to actually commit to what played it every day now. Um, just because it's getting a bit much. Like, obviously, when COVID was a thing, like, in lockdowns, we couldn't go anywhere or do anything. So it was perfect. Like, I could film, like, four videos a day. And back when I was uploading every other day, like, in december i think it was um four videos a day would last like so long like if i could do 12 videos that's almost a month's worth of videos it'd take me three days but now it's more like i'm constantly playing catch up and it's just getting ridiculous and i'm not explaining to you because i think you're gonna like have a go or moan or anything because i know that you're all so supportive and i've already had lots of comments and messages from people saying like stop worrying about uploading so much like we appreciate when you do blah blah which is really really nice thank you so much um i'm just explaining just because why not like <laughs> let's just explain it so yeah i am going to still be uploading frequent like i'm not just going to disappear off the face of the earth but the main thing that i was saying is in lockdown when we couldn't go anywhere or do anything it was much easier to get them done because one i wasn't working and two i wasn't going out other than working either so there was literally no time like 
of doing anything other than just being in my nail room just doing what I want all day long which was lovely but obviously that's not the way the world works normally um and I am glad that it's not the same anymore um well it is over the last 10 days but not normally so now we're open again and everywhere else is open again it's like I'm working full time again but then I'm also doing other things as well as working like going out with my friends on a Friday and like going out for lunch on a Saturday afternoon and then doing something on Saturday night and things like that like I don't do that all the time don't get me wrong but sometimes I'm either out doing something fun or I'm in and I just don't want to be in here like I know it sounds awful but when you're in here all day every day because you work in here it's hard to separate your mind from I'm in here to work then I'm in here to chill out because I know a lot of people don't believe or agree with it but YouTube is work <laughs> um especially when you do your job for YouTube like obviously I do nails all day every day as a living and I absolutely love it and I'm not complaining whatsoever because I love it but it's difficult to finish at like half seven eight p.m and then be like right now I need to film three videos it's going to take me till midnight then I need to have a shower and eat like it's it's it doesn't work like that so yeah i'm going to start promising videos every day i am going to still like attempt to do videos every day but i just want you to know that there will be a couple of days here and there where there isn't and i don't want you to worry that anything's wrong or that i'm unwell or anything like that because i do it's really sweet like over the past couple of days like well not a couple of days but yesterday i didn't upload a video yesterday morning and i had three messages yesterday from people like you're okay like i know you've been saying your arm was hurt i just wondered whether you're all right and whether you've not done a video because of that and it's really really nice that people that you don't technically know care so much it's lovely but i don't want you to worry like if i don't upload a video it is literally just because i haven't had time and there'll be another one coming soon so that's all i'm going to leave it as um what was i going to say so next i need do you know what annoys me like these willow academy pots like i absolutely love them like obviously when they're clean but i don't know what to use them for like i feel like i shouldn't throw them out and i should keep them for something but i don't know what for like has anyone got any hacks and tips and tricks on what you keep in these obviously apart from sanding bands um yeah just let me know because i feel awful when i throw them out because i like them they're really cute so i don't really know what i'm doing now to be honest i'm not gonna lie let's have a look what time it is so it's quarter to one um my dad leaves at half past one and that is when i'll be filming the boohoo haul because i think i'm gonna have to do that in my living room because I can't do it in here, it's just not enough space. So yeah, I think I'm going to pause this video for now. It doesn't look like my Sparkle Supplies VIP box is coming today, which is really sad. But obviously that just means that we're here tomorrow, which is fine. Um, so I will be carrying this video over till tomorrow. Um, but for now, I am literally just going to go and get all the Boohoo clothes ready because I've bought three massive bag of holes. <laughs> oh, I'm a sucker for a sale, what can I say? So like I said, I'm going away in a couple of weeks. Um, just to Skegness, we've got a static caravan there. Well, my mum and dad do. So I'm staying there for uh, a Sunday to Wednesday in a couple of weeks with my three friends and we're going there. So I needed some outfits for that. And then we're going to Liverpool a couple of weeks later for a weekend. I need an outfit for that. So that's what the Boohoo haul is for. Probably won't try everything on um, because some of it's just like plain cycling shorts, um, plain t-shirts, like stuff like that. I'll just try on the things that are a bit different. But yeah, I hope you are enjoying this video so far. I've not really done a hell of a lot. I can't even remember what it was really about. And I've only been sat here for about an hour. Um, but yeah, I will be back to do whatever the next task is that I end up needing to do later on today. Hey everyone, so I'm back. Um, it's a little bit later now. Let me just check what time. So it's 20 past five in the afternoon. I've not actually filmed either of the videos of me doing my own nails. As you can see, they're the exact same. And I've just come in here to do it now and decided that actually I'm gonna have a little like me time, which sounds ridiculous because I've spent the whole day and the whole last few days having a bit of me time. But look at my skin. Like, I don't know what is going on. Like, what what is this? somebody please just shed some light because it's ridiculous but anyway i've just took off the tiny bit of makeup that i did have on because i was wearing a like a tinted moisturizer sort of thing so i just took all that off and everything i've still got mascara on because i don't have the patience to take it off um at the moment um but what i'm gonna do sorry let me just explain what i'm gonna do to you so i'm gonna start my eyebrows out because as you can see they're the complete wrong color compared to my hair like my hair is so dark and my eyebrows are like mm, i don't know they're not light don't get me wrong like look they're not really light but i like them to be slightly darker i think they give my face a little bit more definition i'm gonna give it a go <laughs> don't know how well it's gonna go and i'm gonna tint my eyebrows as well 
and then I'm also going to give myself a pedicure like not even just like I could have tinted my lashes as well actually I might take my mascara off and tint my lashes but anyway I'll do that off camera because I'm not going to be able to do it on anyway um but anyway yeah so I'm going to be using oh gosh a praise um tint because that's what I've always used I absolutely love the stuff so yeah I'm going to tint my eyebrows I'm going to wax my eyebrows I'm going to take my polish off my toes um and I'm going to do a full pedicure and then at some point I will also paint my toes as well which I'm most excited about because at the moment I have like my big toenail on my right foot is broken and the corners come off I was really gutted because like I've been growing them out knowing that hopefully the sun's going to come out soon I'm going to want to start wearing sandals in public again I mean I'm not going to like have been wearing sandals in public but um like you know what I mean like actually summer and actually being out all day long in sandals not just nipping somewhere so yeah I've been like sort of praying that that's going to happen um so i i live in sandals i absolutely love wearing sandals just as soon as i start wearing them i find it really difficult to like wean myself off them it's either sandals or boots like there's literally no in between for me so i'm just mixing a little bit well it was supposed to be a little bit but now it's a lot because it's all just come out at once i'm just mixing a tiny bit of black with dark with dark brown because i don't find that the dark brown is quite dark enough so i do like to pop a little bit just a little bit of black in with it um this is the tint by the way just in case you didn't catch up because i just switched topic but yeah i'm gonna attempt to sort out that corner um off my toes as well because i can't be doing with having a corner missing so that was my point yeah i was growing them out which sounds really gross, I know, but I was growing them out to be able to like, what's it called? This was a bad idea using something flat to mix tint. It's not working. <laughs> but yeah, I was growing them out so I could um, like straighten them off because mine naturally grow quite rounded and I like them straight, like nice square toes. Um, so I was growing them out to be able to just straighten them when I finally go outside properly. And obviously that has gone down the pan because they well one of the corners come off so i can't straighten them off now so i need to like sort that out before i do them but first of all i need to find something to mix this tint in because it's driving me insane so i am going to disappear for a second to find something okay i found something please just ignore the really bad lighting for a second like obviously i need the light to be able to see what i'm doing so i'm just going to go in with this double ended brush i'm just going to give them a quick brush through and then i'm going to go ahead and use this side to just basically paint them yeah so my toes I need to like fix that corner because I just I don't know I don't mind round like my toes rounded as long as they're like I look crazy <laughs> but as long as they like are long enough I don't really mind having a rounded toenail like I don't know why but I just I don't mean in general like on everybody like I generally mean on just myself I absolutely hate it when i can see my actual toe um above, <laughs> wow uh above like my toenail if that makes sense like when my actual toe can be seen like a lot above my toe nail that's what i don't like so that is why i need to sort that toe out that toenail because it's just not it's not doing good things for me um i have filmed the boohoo haul i did try on most of the things to be fair the only things i didn't was like basic t-shirts and cycling shorts just the basics mainly i like using these microfiber things to just clean up any excess okay that's better so i know it looks crazy but i usually take off this area like before this bit i quite like this to to have a chance to like get really dark um like the end of my eyebrow i am definitely gonna mess them up like i know i am this is there's a reason why i stopped doing it myself um but obviously i have i have been in isolation like not for a great deal of time obviously it's only 10 days but it just means now that when i actually do like work again it's gonna be crazy busy i mean it's not actually any busier than it was like 
if I hadn't have had to isolate because I was already fully booked for afterwards anyway so it's really annoying for all the clients that I've had to cancel because they can't get in now because I was already fully booked before all this happened so it's very frustrating but obviously at the moment it's just the world we live in well the country we live in I suppose it's not the same everywhere but yeah so yeah that's that's really similar to the other one yeah <laughs> um my point is I don't have time like I already I don't know if anyone else does the same but I don't know why every time I go away I feel like I have to book like instead of my clients just like missing an appointment like once or twice a year I feel like I have to find a place for them to to get in and most of the time that means obviously working times or days that I wouldn't usually um which is very frustrating but one of those things like don't get me wrong my clients don't actually like ask me to do that I just automatically do it which is really frustrating um even when I tell myself I'm not gonna but there we go so yeah my point being I just don't have time to go anywhere before I go away and to be fair I don't really wear makeup that often which is why it doesn't really bother me that much um when my eyebrows don't look very good because I don't feel like it's that obvious when you don't wear makeup I think as soon as you like put makeup around an eyebrow that's not looking great it just accentuates it accentuate is that the word i'm not sure but you know what i mean anyway it just basically makes it look worse so because i'm going to be wearing makeup when i go away i'd like to get them to look a little bit more presentable okay so i'm leaving them like that i know they look crazy but it's fine we've got to take it off obviously so I'm going to leave this front bit on for like three minutes and then just like wipe it away to like here, just wipe, which I actually need to get some cotton pads for. Um, and then I'll wipe off the rest of it a little bit afterwards. I can get rid of that now. So it's actually like not horrific lighting, but it's not great. <laughs> so this is uh, what we're rocking with at the moment. Mm, very good. My hair's not actually touching that, by the way. It just, it looks like it's because it's close. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave them, just making sure I've actually got everywhere I want, because I don't actually like tint all of my eyebrows, obviously I only tint what I want to be there after I finish waxing, um, so I just need to make sure that I've actually got all that. So anyway, what I'm going to do now while I'm waiting for this is I'm going to set a timer for a start, so I'll leave it on for way too long, and then um, I need to take off my polish from my toes for when I do my pedicure, I also need to cut them because they look ridiculous um so yeah bear with me and i'll be back when i've took off this like this front bit <laughs> okay so i'm literally just wiping off like just this middle bit like that's it i don't want to go too far because i do like i said i like the rest to be quite dark so i am just wiping off to the middle ish just really want to get rid of that at the front and then get about halfway across and then that's it i am actually just going to reapply um a little bit so if you do not on yourself like i recommend literally like i was trained at college to literally just do like one or two minutes take it off like always make enough obviously but you can always make more if you need to it takes two seconds to make it but always make enough because literally put it on for two minutes take it off put it on for another two minutes and then take it off um because like if you're one of those people like, i used to have one client who's like natural brows would take to tint so quick and hers would just be tinted like really really dark within like three minutes whereas mine i could leave this on for 10 or 15 minutes and it still wouldn't be as dark as it could be it's just one of those things um but you need to get to know like your own eyebrows and stuff so where have I put the developer? Oh, there it is. So I'm just waiting for the wax to heat up. I'm just going to take off my toenail polish now. Um, it's not going to take very long because I'm doing it with my e-file. I look crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm doing it with my e-file. So I'm just going to do that now while I'm waiting for the wax to warm up. I might also put a face mask on. Although I probably won't do that on camera because you'll have a shock. Um and obviously I need to avoid my eyebrow area if I do that. So I'm just gonna take my toe polish off and then probably start soaking my feet and then I'll have a little chat with you. 
Okay, I already know what you're thinking, Beth, you look mental. And I know that I do, because they are dark, but tint doesn't obviously last that long. And at the moment, they only look... <laughs> I've got hiccups. <laughs> they only look really, really dark, because one, they're huge, and I need to wax them. And two, because the tint is stuck to this... <laughs> is stuck to the skin. I'm sorry, I've got the hiccups. It's really irritating. Um, but yeah, the tint is stuck to... It's going to come again. It's every time I say that word. But yeah, it's stuck to the skin anyway. So obviously once it comes off the skin, they won't look so dark. How irritating the hiccups. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm trying to figure out what colour to have on my toes. Um, I have just taken off the colour. Um, I, can't, I was going to soak my toes at the same, same time. This is really irritating. The same time as waxing my eyebrows, but obviously the problem we've got there is that the, what's it called? Here we go again, more hiccups. The pedicure, like the spa thing. What are they called? Foot spa. Jesus, why is, why is that so difficult? The foot, these hiccups are pure attacking me. Like they're actually taking over. But yeah, the foot spa would have to be un underneath. Right, I'm going to hold my breath for a few seconds. One sec. Okay, don't know if it's worked or not. I don't think it has. I feel like one's about to attack. But anyway, um, I'm yeah, I'm questioning which to go for. I always really go for pink. I did actually have purple glitter last time. Um, I had them done somewhere and I really loved that glitter. But I've had purple now. But I always, always have pink. I don't know why. I think it's just because it's neutral. So everything sort of goes. Um, but I'm thinking Rose Valley. So this is Rose Valley. I'm thinking of doing this with Moonstone over the top, which is that really nice, like, shimmer colour. I think I, I might do that. I was wondering whether to attempt to put hot lips over the top of this one and just see what it looks like. I think I might do that, like, on the pop stick. Actually, I am going to do that on the pop stick. Why don't we just give it a go? That's hot lips. So I don't want, like, a full-on glitter because I've just took a full-on glitter off my toes. <gasps> yeah i think i'm gonna do that so instead of having like a full in your face real sparkle which i always do on my toes i feel like doing something slightly different where it's like a color but with a little bit of a shimmer um just as a little something different how beautiful is that so i'm gonna do that instead um i've decided that is what i'm going for rose valley with with hot lips um, so that's the colour I'm going to go for. Obviously, I'm going to do a whole pedicure as well. Like I'm going to use my dry skin remover thing. Um, and I'm going to use a scrub. And I might actually even go to the extreme of getting my heated booties out and popping my feet in those in a lovely mask. Because I haven't done that for my own feet or to anyone else's feet for so long. And they are super dry at the moment. So I feel like it would really help. Um, so yeah, first of all, I'm going to wax my eyebrows. I'm not going to do it on camera because I know that it's going to go wrong and it's just not something I want to document, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm going to do them off camera and just pray for me because every time I do my own eyebrows, I do not severely mess them up, but mess them up to a degree. And I know that's going to happen, especially with hard wax because I'm not used to using it. But yeah, just wish me luck and obviously you'll see them after. Okay, that's my eyebrows finished. They're not awful. They're not great, but they never are great. Like, if you want to get them done elsewhere, they just, they don't grow in the same sort of way. So this is about as similar as they get. As you can see, this side is slightly higher than the other side, which is really irritating. But there's nothing I can do about it because it's just one of those things. I always prefer this eyebrow <laughs> over the other one, but it's one of those. Um, So I am just going to, my boyfriend just got home from work, so I'm going to go and spend some time with him. So I'm going to take my foot spa into the living room and do myself a little pedicure and soak my feet for 10 minutes in there and then obviously i will come back in here later or tomorrow to paint my toes then i'll show you what they look like when they're finished okay it's a bit later than i'd planned it's like um let's have a look 10 o'clock now and i've only just finished my toes um i did the pedicure quite a while ago and then just let them dry off um, I let them dry off and then obviously painted them later on. Um, my eyebrows are not quite as like red and angry looking now, which is good. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with my eyebrows. I'm happy with my toes. I am feeling much more feminine now. I didn't do a face mask, but I might put one on now. Um, although the only thing I'm annoyed about now is that like, look at my desk. I literally like tidied that in the beginning of this vlog and now look so tomorrow will be another tidy up um but yeah i'm just i'm feeling good now i've got fresh toes fresh eyebrows what more could a girl need apart from fresh nails but we'll sort those out tomorrow um 
so yeah i will see you in the morning okay so it's now actually two days later um that i started this vlog it is now thursday and i am back at work um unfortunately i didn't realize until these just came in the vip box that i don't actually have any um pots left to be able to put the glitter in so that's really frustrating and i wish i'd realized obviously i could have ordered those in the time i've been sat around waiting for this to arrive but not to worry there is some on the way now so i can't actually pot this uh, glitter because obviously I don't have a pot these three have come in pots anyway so I don't need to do that um so that's what you get in there they're beautiful but I can obviously do what I usually do with the crystals and then also what I do with foils um and shapes these are a shape so they'll go in here as well so with my crystals obviously as most of you probably know I just pop those in one of these things i don't know what to call it but this is how i store them these are really different i really like them um i'm not usually a green fan as most of you know but these reflect literally like blue purple green they're all so different they're called volcano um so that's a cool name so yeah they're called Vol volcano that's the ones that i popped in there and then over here i'm just going to get this which is the next um one that's free for shapes i'm going to make a mess because i always do with shapes it's really annoying but i'm just going to pop these in and try and do it so i don't get them absolutely everywhere for once there we go so i am actually back at work today um i am actually free now i can leave my house and i can mingle with other people thank god um so yeah i am feeling good today it's a good day happy thursday everybody um so anyway i've popped those in there um so that's that done and then i'm questioning whether to do the same with this i'm not sure i think i'm going to um because it'll be one of those things that i'll forget i have and then i'll never use it because it'll be with glitters but technically it's not a glitter so i'm just going to pop this in here as well just decant that okay there's a lot in there that's good so I'll just pop that in there as well i'm just going to zoom out a little bit because my phone struggles to focus when it's zoomed in that much but yeah how beautiful are they they are called unicorn mylar absolutely beautiful so like i said two of the other things well one of the other things is a glitter well it's a shard flake sort of thing but that's already potted so that will stay like that and then obviously when i get some pots from amazon this will be put in a pot and then all we've got to do is just pop my foil into my folder and then i'm going to finally sign off this video so i can actually edit it and get it uploaded because obviously it took three days for me to film it because i've been waiting for this um sparkle supplies vip box to come so i've just filmed the haul for it obviously it's only a few minutes long because it's not a crazy amount to show you because i usually order things alongside that as well but i didn't this time because i've only just recently done a haul from sparkle supplies just got one that i need to put back here um so yeah that's why it's literally just that that i've got to show you just what's in the uh the vip box but i've got a couple of other videos to film today one of them is actually a super drug haul i've bought some skincare makeup lashes that sort of thing so I'll be doing a video for those in a little while between the next client I've got in and the one after that. But for now, I'm going to sign off this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, uh, the next vlog will hopefully be coming soon because I'm trying to do these pretty regularly because you all said that you liked them. So I'm going to try and do them more often. But thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.